So today we're starting on our 2017 Golf R that's getting the port injection from HP Motorsports, as well as we're gonna upgrade the turbo to the FR500, which it's already at the FR450, but we're gonna upgrade it even more to the 500 with the port injection. So over here, we've got all the parts we need, all from HPA Motorsports. We've got our, um, here the complete kit for port injection. Um, it comes with all the fittings, injectors, the new fuel rail. And as well here, we have the FR500 IS38 turbo. So um, we're gonna start this now, start taking it apart. And uh, once we have it all out, uh, the intake right out on the bench, then we can see what needs to be done to install that rail. So we got our intake off the R and uh, we are just going to install the new port injectors. Now if you see the R's here, the holes are already there. Now, if you try to go down, it's blocked. Um, this one, I've already drilled this one through, but it would slip right in. So that's where they should be. Now, it's fairly straightforward seeing that the intake's already prepped for the injectors. So you would get drill bit, 930 seconds, and if you could see it fits right into the hole. So you could see how that's what it's supposed to look like once the hole is drilled through. Now with the American market ones, there's no hole there. It's it's blocked off. So with a 930 seconds drill bit, we're going to drill those out. So one's drilled already. Let's do the other three. And then we'll clean up the other end. Then the other end, I would go back and just clean off all the little burrs that are left when the drill bit poked through. So we can go back and do that as well. Um, first we can just break them off. Some needle nose. All the big chunks. And then you can get a little die grinder. So, now we've got that cleaned out. We're gonna inject install the injectors so the kit comes with everything you need for the injectors now you want to kind of put a little bit of a lubricant on there um, something that will uh, just allow it to, to slide in nicer Now, interesting thing here, even how you can say it's almost dummy proof, that little tab that you see on the injector slides right into the lock, right on to the intake manifold. So, as you slip it in, press it in, and it locks right in. There, there you have it. all four injectors are installed. And if you look up, see how it's clear. 
you can see a clear passage right to where they'll spray. See how this locks in? You got those two, these are hold down bolts for your fuel rail. Well, you can see in the factory intake, you've got two holes there, one there and there. And that's where the bushings would be that you would screw your rail right into. Well, here, in your kit that you'll get from HP Motorsports, is those bushings. There they are there. So this, these screw right under here. And then, and then these would go through the rail, screw into those bushings, nice and flat. So let's let's screw these in place. So I've got the bushing, if you see here, um, and we're just gonna. I got a little six mil bolt. I'll put that through there, and that's gonna give me my bite. So I can now put a socket on top and kind of run it through. Um, the hole is there that Volkswagen has provided, but now we need to put this threaded bushing in there. If you look up, look at the ends right through into the intake, nice and clear. Make sure you shave um, any plastic that's going to, any burrs that are going to come out here when you're drilling. Just clean it up nice so it doesn't get in the way of the stream of fuel. So that's your rails now in place. Now next we're going to put in the a pressure sensor that comes with the kit. So this is almost the same type of thing. We're going to put this bushing in first that is with has an o-ring. I'm going to put some lubricant on there. It's always good. Um, Actually, probably better to just put it right on here first. Nice and tight. And then put the O-ring on. That slips right in here. Nice and tight. And it comes with as well a clip. Oh, it doesn't thread in, eh? Well, it threads into that bushing. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. You I can see. tighten it. <laughs> so, that's that. Now, we're going to go ahead and put this back on the car. We'll do that quickly. So, that's all installed. This is um, the electrical connectors. 
that go to each injector and to the fuel pressure sensor right on the rail. Now what's nice about these is the way HPA does it, you've got everything right on the um, on the wires. You've got all the, the pin connectors that this has to go into, into the ECU. And then this will go right into the fuse box. And I'll show you after um, which fuse to plug into. There's a couple empty spaces in your fuse box that already have powers there. And this will plug in on the opposite side. So that's after, but now we'll, you got all the clips now for the injectors. Um, for the four injectors. If you come here, down here, you see how they just clip in? Just like any old style injector. It just clips on, there's a groove inside the rail and the groove onto the injector and kind of just holds it tight. Um, really nice kit like and what these are is is because the Europeans already have this it's it's already it's already roughed in you can say everything's there the way it, plug and play the way it's everything clips in already it's a beautiful kit so we're gonna get this back on the car now after I get these clips on the injectors and then we'll show you how we can wire it up and run the wire to the fuse box and to the ECU. So you got the rail all in and uh, I put the harness in as we we're putting the intake in. It's easier for that to do it that way than to try to squeeze in the plugs after. Um, nice clean OEM look. I tried to get this harness into the same um, bridge that the uh, the coil plugs are in, coil wiring is in, but it's too tight. So I just ran it along there. If you want, you could always just put zip ties along just to hold it tighter. So now the cable will go down, follow the engine harness along the front of the turbo pipe, and we can run it along over top of the transmission. And then it's gonna go into the back of the connector of the ECU. Now. This connector here um, goes from 1 to 105, so you'll see that all these tabs or all these uh, notes on the wires are for the T105 connector, which is this one. And this tells you which connector place to put it into. So. Um, terminal, which terminal it is. So um, I use this snap-on tool, it's great. It's got a small terminal end on it. And so Volkswagen puts any terminal that's not used with Volkswagen, they put these little caps in there. So what you're gonna do is look for terminal, I put number 24 in, so if you look at the front, you'll see it goes from 1 to 21, and it goes 22 to 42. So the first one I put in was 24. So that would be 22, 23, 24, and as you see, it's right back there. So now we'll go look for the next one up, which is uh, 25, which is right next to it. So you got... 22, 23, 24, and 25. So watch what's nice about this tool is so you don't lose your spot. Pull this out all the way and then poke it through. And you'll see on the other side, the black cap comes out. Now, it could be pretty confusing how it came out. So just pay attention to that little tab on the top. So when you put it back in, the new one, look for where your tool is. It's sticking out right there. And you look for your number 25 again, which is right there. Thank you. And tab that up. goes down. Yeah, tab up right over top of that tool 
this this is actually the hardest part <laughs> or most annoying part of this whole job is putting um, this in and it just just getting it in the right position they don't give you much room with these wires and I don't want to strip back too much of the factory insulation we got your uh, power here and you can kind of just run it up through here and if you see here I took this plate off the front of the fuse box and now I'll run right into the bottom of the fuse box and fish it up and you can use that terminal right there with a 15 amp fuse the powers already there so we just need to connect that wire to it. Now you got power to all the injectors and you're getting the signal to them from all these wires as well as the wires for the pressure uh, sensor that's right on that rail. So I'm gonna get back to putting all these um, wires in and then once that, that that's all done, we'll show you what it looks like all finished. And then uh, we can go from there. So where are we gonna get the fuel from for the rail on the side of your high pressure pump there's a fuel return screw so you want to take this off so now we have our fitting the copper washer right into here factory Volkswagen hose that they would have used they use on the European models so now this see the arrows so that would be on the rail side this would be on the fuel pump side so this is kind of a pain to fit in so you kind of have to work it around here Well, it's good, it's tight, you know it's not coming off. Just gotta make it through all the, over all the ribs of the bird, so. Okay, so that's good. So then we'll just move those clamps on. So now we know all the fuel end of it is all done now we'll move on to electrical and finish off the wiring for the injectors <laughs> 